Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint on your laptop or PC. This is very easy to do with just a standard USB drive. So I'm going to go over to my computer right now and just download Linux Mint. And then there's one other program that we need to write over to this. So just on the home screen here, let's open up a web browser and go to google.com. And under Google, we can just type in Linux Mint just like this. And then uh, we can go to the first link that appears on Google. So this will be linuxmint.com right here. And if we scroll on down, we have the option to download. So I'm just going to choose this download link. And then if we scroll on down under this website, you can see it right here, linuxmint.com. Uh, we have the cinnamon edition. Uh, we can just go to the cinnamon edition right here. And we can click download. This is the most popular version of Linux Mint. So we can download it right here. And then the installation size is three gigabytes. And then we have the installation guide right here if you need to go ahead and look at that. And then we should be able to just download it if we scroll on down. Uh, depending on your location, go to your location. So I'm in the USA. Uh, we can go to one of these download links. And some of them are hosted at like universities and stuff like James Madison. Uh, so we can go to Harvard if we want. So we can click it and this download box should appear and you can see I already have this downloaded right here, but it's going to be about four gigabytes to download. Now, uh, once you have that downloaded or you can do it well as downloading, you can go to google.com once again, and we want to get something called Etcher. So I have this program on my computer already. It's Balina Etcher right here. So if I open this up, this will allow me to pretty much write, um, over to my flash drive. So what I want to do is get this program. Let's go to Google and type in etcher. You can just type in etcher or Bellina etcher if you want. So you can see this right here. It'll be Bellina.io. So let's go to this. You can type in etcher or Bellina, Bellina etcher. And then here's the direct link up here, etcher.bellina.io. Before it used to be just called etcher. And then we can scroll on down and here's the download link right there and choose your system. So I'm currently on uh, just Windows. So I'm going to go to Windows and download here. If you're on uh, Mac OS or if you're on Linux. So I'm just going to go to the downloader for Windows. And then it should prompt you to download it and just go through the process and install this. So once you have those both, uh, in downloaded. Uh, you can just open up Etcher now. All I have to do is choose this. And then I'm looking in my downloads folder wherever I downloaded uh, Linux Mint. So I can see Linux Mint right here in my downloads folder. I'm just going to open this up. Then I have to select a target. So this is going to be my USB drive. So you can see my USB drive right here. And then I can select this. And uh, you might want to just disconnect other drives if you're installing it on this computer. So you only have one drive on your computer. Otherwise, it might, I don't know, it could give you some sort of complication. It could try to install it in a different location. So let's go to my PNY drive, then select Flash. And you can see it's going to continue. And you might have to click Yes when that pops up. So it's starting right now and it'll probably take about five to 10 minutes to complete this process. And then we're going to launch our computer into the BIOS menu. And this should allow us to uh, launch it from a USB drive. So it looks like this is actually going quite quick. I'm at 40% almost. And it's going to take me about one more minute. Okay, so I have my USB drive right here. And I'm going to wait to plug this in for the moment. And I'm going to get my computer into the BIOS menu. So I have Ubuntu up on this laptop. So I can just go to power off right here. And then when I turn on my computer, most uh, motherboards, if you just press the delete key, when you see the symbol, that will launch into the BIOS menu. So let's go to uh, the power button and just turn this on. And then when you see the symbol, just press the delete key. See the symbol? Press the delete key. Now under here, uh, what we want to do is change this around. So we want to change the boot order around, so it boots off this USB device. So I have an MSI uh, BIOS menu on here. I'm going to go over to boot. And on your 
BIOS, you're going to see somewhere boot option one, two, and three, four. Go to boot option number one, press enter on it, and switch this from USB, CD drive, DVD drive, switch it over to USB hard disk, and select this. Then go to save and exit. Now take your Linux Mint installation media right here, and plug it in. Now if you had it plugged in before you went here, you're probably going to see the name of the USB drive located under here and that's what you want to pick. You want to boot from the USB that you have plugged in and then go to save and exit. I think if you don't have a CD or DVD drive, we'll just do this automatic, but I'll still come to BIOS menu and just make sure. So now when my computer restarts, you may see your USB drive light up or something like that. And we should see the installation file, uh, installation media pop up. So it says start Linux Mint Cinnamon so all you have to do is press enter on your keyboard. And then it may load for a little bit of time. I think mine loads maybe like three to five minutes. So if you see a little loading symbol, I think this could um, matter depending on your computer, your, uh, your hard disk or hard drive or SSD that you have plugged in. Okay, so that took me about five minutes of that symbol just being on my screen. And now I have this open up where you can just try out Linux Mint and see if you actually like it. And it kind of has like more of a Windows style, uh, you know, operating look to it, operating system look to it. And it's gonna be a lot more familiar than like Ubuntu or something like that. And uh, you can just go up to install Linux Mint right here on the top left. And we can continue the installation process from here. But it's kind of cool, you can just try it out and see if you like it or not. So it looks like this is actually, I, I think this one might be my favorite one out of them all. So let's just click on it. It looks like it's loading. So uh, just give us some time. We can go to English. And I, I like installing Linux a lot more than Windows or something like that. It's so much cleaner and easier. There's no adware or anything like that too. So we can go to continue English. Uh, you can connect to the network. I don't want to connect. We can do that right, uh, later on. So you'll have to type in your password, choose your network, and then go to continue and just wait for us. And I believe we're gonna to have to set up our password here soon. Uh, it says multimedia codex, install multimedia codex. Uh, you might want that if you're gonna be playing some uh, videos or something like that. And it says secure boot. We need to choose a password. So um, let's just choose a password. And you know, honestly, you might, <laughs> you might wanna make this simple because you're gonna to have to type this in for like everything. So maybe just a quick word or something like that. And uh, once I have it typed in, it looks like it's not long enough, so I'll, I'll add a few more characters. And boom, we're good. Okay, let's go to next. All right, now it says installation type. This computer currently has a Ubuntu. Yes, it does. So I want to install Linux Mint. So it says, Erase drive, install Linux Mint. Let's go to this. So I think if you want to have dual boot, if you want to have, let's see, choose which operation you want to each time you start up a computer. So you can dual boot with Linux on here too, if you just chose the first option. Otherwise you can erase disk and install. So if you want to have a Windows and a Linux on at the same time, it gives you the option when you're installing it right there, it looks like. And I'm just gonna overwrite everything Maybe I actually wanted to have both of them on there. I don't know. Choose your location. Looks like I already got New York on there. I might change that. Uh, looks like we got another password we got to type in. I'm just going to make everything the same. So it's done. Now it says continue testing, restart now. Um, I'm just going to go to restart now. And then I'm going to launch this uh, into the actual um, Linux Mint. So we can see the symbol on here now. And once this gets done, uh, we're gonna wanna unplug this installation media and then press enter. Otherwise it's gonna try and install Linux Mint again. So just heads up. So if you did a clean install uh, without the dual boot option, it should just launch directly into this. It says prefer um, OK management. Let's just go to continue boot. All right, so we have that option. And then it should launch into Linux Mint without any more problems. All right, let's type in my password. 
press enter and then this should be the new desktop here and it's got Linux Mint we can look at this now the first thing we can do is go down to the start button go to the software center right here it's generating cache one moment and then you can start downloading some software down here like Steam press enter you should be able to just download this it might take a little bit of time for it to download so it's generating all this stuff so you can get your uh, you know you can get whatever you want to start playing games you can install it right here very easy to do uh, connect the internet and then you should be able to go to options and disable the automatic login I mean turn on the automatic out login wherever that is so hopefully this video did indeed help you out if it did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six studios